Good choice to reset the first attempt. On the second attempt, when breaking out, the bow got swept downstream before the boat fully crossed the eddy line. This means that you lose heaps of speed. The boat is slower than the water all the way down to the drop, which ruins all hope of a good booth. Probably the reason for not crossing the eddy line well is the recirculating eddy current, which pushed the stern upstream. The solution is to break out lower where there is more space, edge a bit harder, and use the water more. This is basically the same drill as I use at Broken Bridge when I say break out and get speed through this slalom gate. You want all of your speed to come from the water rather than from hard paddle strokes. Good edging and balance to keep the boat flat through the drop. Good speed coming in. Good left stroke when passing the rock. This sets the boat pointing to the right and increases the speed. Nice to wait for the booth stroke. That's better than doing one with the wrong timing. During the waiting time, you could probably have done a couple more paddle strokes to add to your speed. Either a small right stroke and then a right booth, or a bigger right stroke and then a lefty booth. These options would straighten up the boat a little more um, and make the booth stroke a bit easier. The booth stroke was probably a tad early. You can see that the blade isn't at the lip of the waterfall when the stroke begins. Good power on the booth stroke. Um, leaning back slightly, but I'm undecided if that's even bad for pack rafts. Um, and during the landing, the body is totally upright instead of leaning forward, which makes for a harder impact on the back. Weak left stroke and a small brace on the left mean that the boat isn't moving right. In a slicey boat, you probably need to actively lift the boat over the V feature. Here the tail of the boat is catching the water, which causes the nose to lift up and move even further left. The strong left sweep stroke was probably the best choice because a big booth wasn't an option at this point. Nice work keeping the boat balanced at the bottom. Okay, lead-in. The paddle hits a rock, which blocks the left stroke from fully being in the water and loses all the power there. A bit late on the stroke. It was in the right place, but you should have reached a bit further forward and grabbed the lip a little earlier. Uh, Lent way back during the boost stroke, which dropped the bow. I think what caused the flip is that the right side was completely submerged, so it didn't provide further buoyancy and stability. If you landed flatter, you'd stay on the surface and be a bit more stable. And good self-rescue. <laughs> Hesitant during the lead-in, missed a possible stroke, which would add some speed. Late starting the freewheel and didn't look back to lead the movement with your head. Good rotation and edging to finish. Left angle during entry, which makes it very hard to end up right. Paddle not fully in the water for the correction stroke. The nose is now dragging in the eddy and the turn is unavoidable at this point. Possibly eddying out was an option if the left backstroke was replaced with hard forward paddling, but deciding on a new line in an instant is really very hard. Nice commitment to the back booth and good edging to stay upright. More speed than needed on the lead-in makes the turn harder. Should have used right angle instead of left on the lead-in to make it easier to get over to the right. Strong correction strokes to avoid spinning out, but they cause the boat to be very angled compared to the lip, which makes the booth tricky. The boat is only supported on one side, which makes it tip during the booth, 
leaning right while taking the boof might reduce this slightly because you can kind of get some support on the right side, but it's tricky. Great brace at the bottom, low elbows, boat flattens out early, and you bring the body up later. So, good job. Doing a rudder stroke instead of a sweep stroke doesn't turn you as much, and it also doesn't add speed, so a sweep stroke is better. Not much you can do to boof if you're lined up with the slot. Good speed and position on the lead-in. Great stroke timing and a strong stroke. Lent a bit backwards during the boot but it was still a good booth. Missed the ideal left stroke timing, maybe due to the rock, but good to repeat the stroke. Lifting the nose over the V-wave during the entrance would have made it cleaner. You get more control over the direction and a little bit more speed if the nose of the boat isn't underwater. The boof stroke was a fair bit too early. Well done to brace up. Being angled to the right at the lip makes the boof a bit harder and reduces your options. Perfect timing for the boof and good power. Leaning forward at the bottom allowed the body to hinge, which made the impact softer. Good speed and a clean line through the lead-in sets things up well. Good job reaching forward for the boof stroke, that's exactly what we want to see, perfect timing on that stroke. Would have been better to finish the boof stroke crunching forwards. Nice work bringing the paddle down to the water for the landing, that's a very good habit. Having the boat fast and pointed downstream makes the boof so much easier. Great timing on the boof stroke. Lean a bit back during the stroke but crunch forward to finish and it worked out pretty well. Oh, yeah. Good to wait for the stroke. Hold on to the stroke a little longer and try to crunch forward. As the stroke is taken out and without the abs being engaged, the boat is more likely to drop off edge and turn to the side. Crunching forward to finish and landing with a forward stroke is excellent. Turning too far to the right on the lead in forces an early right stroke. This leaves no time or space for the boof stroke and the boat flops over the drop. Nice reaching forward to grab the lip. Strong boof stroke which finishes crunched forward with the top hand touching the front of the boat. Good stomp and also a forward stroke on the landing to complete the line. At this water level, the passive style probably isn't the best way to run the leading. Adding a bit of speed would probably help cross the boil line, which is quite grabby at this level. Good to spot the lip early and build up speed and a nice double boof. Good lean makes the boof a bit cleaner and avoids turning the boat as you take a powerful stroke. Good speed and positive paddling on the lead-in. It's a risky line to hit the seam sideways, got away with it due to having a good brace. Angling the boat to the right would allow the pack raft to ride over the seam cleaner. You lost momentum where the river turns, 
above the drop by getting caught in the slow water on the inside of the turn. The lack of speed and not having the boat straight at the end makes getting a boof hard. Still, there was a chance to salvage things with a left boof at the end instead of the final right stroke. Great lead-in, the whole approach up to the lip was great. Surgeons works best with a left stroke due to the deeper water on the left and the way the water turns on the lip. If the last stroke on the right had been stronger, it could have set up a left boof. A slightly weak boof stroke and leaning back means that the bow drops down a long way off the final drop 